Then amid the criticism, we have President Duterte renewing his support for the security of tenure bill and other measures that will benefit workers. In his Labor Day message, Duterte also sympathized with the plight of OFWs who left their homes to look for higher-paying jobs abroad. The president says that measures are in place to improve the quality of life of the country's workers. Duterte also called on Congress to fast-track the passage of measures that will benefit the labor force. Three years into his administration and labor laws like the Telecommuting Act, the expanded maternity leave law, and even the lowering of income taxes under the train law have been created for the benefit of the labor sector. And despite government efforts, critics and labor groups say that Duterte is remiss on his major campaign promises, which is to end ENDO. They're saying that the president's executive order number 51 failed to completely address unjust labor practices related to contractualization.